To understand Islam and the Muslim world more, buy my book, The Curse of God, Why I Left Islam. Available in all your favorite online bookstores. All right, folks, this is Harris Sultan, the ex-Muslim atheist, and welcome to another episode of Sultan's House of Sin. Someone shared that with me that, yes, these are the problems, unfortunately, that comes from Islam. And through Islam, it filters down to Muslims as people. And there it is. We all know that there's Kashmiri separatism. And it was always about Islamism. We know that if we remove Islam from Kashmir, things will change. Things will change drastically. Uh, Islam is the problem. Islam is what's causing people to separate. But it's not only just... Kashmir about India, you know, because India is all evil, as we all know. But it's happening in other places as well. In Thailand, there's a Muslim separatist movement. And this is obviously an old clip, but I'm saying that there's always separatists everywhere. There, you would not find Hindu separatists in, in Russia or in Belgium or in France. Um, but there you go. Another one, Muslim separatist movement in Philippines. And obviously, in France, as I said, Islamic separatist movement in France. Um, why is it happening? And I think Muslims need to understand that. And Muslims know that, but they still don't want to admit it. They know it, but they don't admit it, that there is a separatist element in the ideology of Islam that we have to create. Quran is quite clear. The struggle, strive to create an Islamic state. Strive for it. Struggle for it. And obviously, in some places, it's referred as jihad as well. And strive for it, struggle for it. And that, that's why we have not only... These are some separatist movement in Thailand and Philippines, are some armed separatist movements as well. Um, and in Western, more advanced countries, countries like Australia, etc., we have Hizbut Tahrir here. And in America, they have Muslim Brotherhood, where they actually... You might find it very stupid and funny, but these people are actually working towards bringing in Sharia in countries like Australia and other Western countries. It's not, most people don't take them seriously because yeah, it's very unlikely at this point. It's not going to happen. But my point is, there are people who are trying to do that. So this is why we know that Islam is different from other religions, because as I said, there's no Hindutva movement in Germany or France or Australia or America or Canada. There isn't. Let's be honest. There isn't. So there's no comparison then on that scale. So there is something that Muslims need to take a very good look at themselves. Otherwise, it's just going to get worse and worse. To help me produce more videos like these, support me on Patreon or PayPal.